I don't know like the ladylike way to eat this. <laughs> Not all flowers are edible. You wouldn't want to just go to your garden and pick out some flowers. Culinary flowers are grown specifically to be eaten, which means grown in the way that a vegetable would be grown, using the same kinds of pesticides and treatments so that they would be safe to eat. Here we have a number of edible flowers. Um, they're from Little Wild Things Farm, and it looks like uh, several of them are pansies. They actually have kind of a peppery, arugula, sort of uh, greens flavor to them. So you can add edible flowers to salads, you can use them as cake or cupcake decorations, put them on top of ice cream, really anything. So here we have some honey lemon lavender ice cream from Ice Cream Jubilee, a local ice cream shop in Washington, D.C. This is really good. I think that in some cases, people can be a little bit afraid of lavender as a flavor because if you overdo it, it can taste like soap. Uh, but that's definitely not the case here. So here we have Belvoir Fruit Farms Organic Elderflower Lemonade and also Elderflower and Rose. It, it looks a little bit like sparkling water, but it really is more of a soda. It's definitely very sweet. It's very delicate. It definitely has this perfumey nose to it and, and also a perfume that sort of lingers on your palate. Farmhouse Cultures Strawberry Hibiscus Gut Punch Sparkling Probiotic. I think this is really good um, for people who like kombucha. I think this is a really unusual flavor. And the hibiscus adds sort of a, like a lemony uh, tart flavor to it, which is a nice contrast to the strawberry. So here we have a raspberry geranium fruit bar from Whole Foods. It's hard to see what a geranium tastes like actually because you get a little bit more of the raspberry than the geranium here, but you do get this hint of something perfumey, something botanical, something delicate. I'm Maura Judkus, a reporter for the Washington Post, and right now I look like a Snapchat filter.